like 20 times because I'm so nervous but so excited for today's video. We are going to be doing a makeup collection tour. This is gonna be part one and part two will be coming later this week. We are gonna be deep diving through all of my drawers and it's a long video, so make sure to grab a snack or a drink. I started YouTube four years ago and when I very first started, I literally had like no makeup. I got a second job and I would work on the nights and weekends just to be able to use that money to go toward makeup, to do reviews, to do giveaways because I've always been really passionate about makeup and I cannot believe the amount that my collection has grown. It's thanks to you guys for your support and brands for supporting me and sending me PR and new products and things like that. And I just wanna let y'all know how extremely grateful I am. The reason I haven't done a makeup collection tour is because I've actually had my makeup split up into two rooms. I had my like filming studio section and then I had like my everyday makeup section which is on the complete other side of the house. So this past weekend I brought all of it into one room to <laughs> finish organizing and I was honestly blown away with how much I actually have. So this weekend I'm going to be doing a massive declutter which I'm also nervous about. I think it's just that makeup holds such a special place in my heart and so I know it's going to be like hard for me to get rid of things but I know that they can go to a better home and I won't be able to use all of this makeup so I'm going to be selling some things I've purchased doing donations friends and family all the above so anyways I'm excited I'm gonna stop rambling I know this intro is a little long so let's dive in let's go Alright, so this part right here is really where I film. So this is like my filming setup area. Normally it doesn't look this organized, but I tried to make it look pretty decent for you guys today. So the first thing that we have right here is this little cup my friend got me. It says Pure Gold Digger. And I actually have some little like beauty blenders and stuff, beauty sponges in this little cup. Then we have my mic that I actually film with. And then as you can see, lots and lots of brushes. We have eye brushes, face brushes, just an assortment of brushes. And then we have like my perfume collection. So this actually is from Sony Cosmetics, this little organizer. And we have lots of perfumes at the bottom. They actually have something that you can put down here that holds eyeshadows, but I pulled it out just to put some other little perfumes that fit down at the bottom. So again, this is like where I film. And then over here, you can see like my camera and my ring light and everything. All right, so basically all of my makeup collection is housed in these clear drawers. And then as you can see, if you go down, we have three of these short Alex drawers, which hold a lot of like brand sections. And then to the right here, we have the rest of my collection, which is two of the tall Alex drawers from Ikea and then one of the like six wide drawers. So. So today we're gonna be basically going through pretty much most of this. I don't know if I'm gonna have to break it down into two sections, but we're gonna see how much we can work with. And I'm excited to show you guys my collection, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm actually going to start at the very bottom of these three drawers just because I'm super proud of all this organization that I've been doing and they're organized by brand. And then up at the top we have like lipstick drawers. So we will get into that in just a second. Okay, so this is the first drawer and this is going to basically be my ColourPop drawer. So some of the drawers that I have in this are just brand specific. For me, I feel like it's kind of easier to find things. So the very first palette that we have here is It's My Pleasure. Now, I really like organizing things where I can see everything. I just redid everything like a few weeks ago and I really think this is more aesthetically pleasing. So I have It's My Pleasure palette and then I also have three other of the like sister palettes right here to the side. They wouldn't all fit on the side, so I had to put one in the front. So we have the Blue Moon, Just My Luck, and Uh Oh Honey. Okay, and then we have some of my favorite palettes in the front. So the newer like Sweet Talk palette we have right here. We have one of my all-time favorites, You Had Me At Hello. As you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of views sell of, and the She palette. The She palette is probably one of my all-time favorites, and you can see I've already hit pan, and I mean, a lot of the shades are very used. And then we just have, again, some of the other collections, the It's My Pony, the Kathleen palette, the Give It To Me Straight, the Zodiac, and then in the back we have the taller palette, so like the 
Sarah E. collection, the Shayla and ColourPop collection, and then the Fame and Fortune palettes are right there in the back. And then over here to the side, I just have some like random palettes, like the highlight palette that they came out with a couple years ago, and then some of like their holiday collection. This is the holiday 2017. So all of my ColourPop palettes. And then I also have back here the individual palettes. So lots of individual ColourPop eyeshadows and I have them organized just by like different tones. So we have a more like neutral tone palette. We have the like shimmery shades. And then at the very back we have like the pink tones. And then over here we just have some individual like four pan palettes. This was one of the Sarah E collections which I love. And then one of my subscribers sent me a couple of individual uh, shadows and highlights. So I actually put them here as well as a lipstick from their Luxe collection. So I just have that kind of like sitting to the side. So in the back I have some newer releases like this is the uh, Loose Pigments and then we have an old <laughs> collection from last year but I keep them in here because I like like being able to see them really easy. This is probably one of my favorite collections from their lipsticks. And then I have a newer collection in the back and then a mascara set at the very back. I like stacking the drawers all the way to the end just so that way nothing really moves around. And that's the first drawer. Okay, the next drawer we have my Makeup Forever section. And I feel like I probably have more Makeup Forever stuff than this. But again, I just redid my collection. So I want to make it pretty for you guys. Um, to the side, we have two different eyeshadows. We have the Let's Gold. And then I have the Starlet palette. We have some matte velvet skin finishes right here. We have a little Stardust right here. And then I have some of my favorite like pencils, eye pencils, lip pencils, a concealer. And then we have two different brow gels. And then I have just different palettes. So in the very back, I have individual shadows. When these first came out, I went so crazy over them. I got so many different shades. And as a Sephora sale, like I literally just kept going back. I actually have more than this, but I think they're in my pro kit. I'm going to move these just that way. I can show you guys the rest. And then I have a holiday palette from a couple years ago. And then just some different collections. These are the Artist Shadow Palettes 1, 2, and 3. And then I have like a little blush and highlight set palette at the very front. And then in the very back, I just have this little roll-up set that they had sent me. And it has my name on it. And it just holds like a bunch of their liners lip liners eyeliners and then at the very very back i think this is a palette from holiday maybe 2017 it just has like blushes bronzers and highlights in it this is the very next drawer this is my becca collection drawer so as you can see i have like the becca highlights this was like one of my favorite becca palettes which was the jacqueline hill one as you can see it's very well loved and then this past year they came out with the chloe um Kardashian like collection and these are probably like my all-time favorite now. They just have like bronzers and highlights in them. We have one of their highlight palettes and then one of the like blush palettes from another holiday collection. Okay and then down here we have just some individual highlights that they have came out with. Like this one is Moonstone. Really really pretty. Becca has some of like my favorite highlights. I just think they are stunning and I love the little case that they come in. Um, one thing I wanted to note really quick is that, you know, a lot of people do have the clear containers, which I do have a lot of them, but I got to a point where I didn't have enough. So I will take like packages, like this is an Urban Decay box that they had sent me, and I'll just literally cut like the top of it off and use it for storage. Then we have one of my favorite products from Becca, which is their Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. You can put this on your under eyes and it's so cooling and seriously, it just makes the eyes look so awake. This is like my second one that's not used yet. And then we have some other collections. This is a new collection they just came out with. And then we have Be A Light palettes and some other like collab, like the Chrissy collab. And then back here I have all the lip glosses that I own. And then their shimmering body oil. So I just wanted to have these like all together at once. And then in the very, very back I have just some lipsticks that I need to open or put in giveaways for you guys and some of their skincare products. So I have those all kind of back there as well as the lip liners that they recently came out with. So this is my Becca drawer. Okay, very next up we have my MAC Cosmetics drawer. Now one thing if you don't know, if you back to MAC things, like you use a product up, I think it's six or it used to be six, you can take the products back and you can get a free lipstick. So I kind of have like empties here in the back. I actually have a little It Cosmetics brush holder that I have 
haven't used <laughs> yet. And then right here is just different bronzers, highlights, and blushes from MAC. I love the Patrick Star ones. I think they're so pretty. And again, this is just like a highlight right there, but I love the packaging. MAC has some really unique and pretty packaging. And then over here, I just have like a few little individual glitter eyeshadows. And then I have the Mischief Minx palette, which they came out with probably like a year or two ago. I have this over here on the side because I think it fits really nicely. I have a little pigment glitter and an oil control lotion in the back. And then over here, I have just some individual palettes. So this was from Holiday last year. These Hyper Real Glow palettes are some of my favorite MAC highlighting palettes. They're so pretty. And you can see they've just gotten a ton of use over the years or year, I guess. <laughs> Here in the front, we just have like some individual eyeshadow palettes. So this was from their, I don't know if it was like a flower collection. These are the two Mac and Patrick Star ones, and then some more Mac and Patrick Star over here. And then going more towards the back, we have the highlighting contour palettes, which are really pretty and unique. I wish these were around when I first started buying Mac, because they're a really more inexpensive way to get a lot of shades. And then in the back here, we have the Art Library palette, which is one of my favorites. And then we have their newer marble collection right here. And then I just have a bunch of like lip glosses in the back. Matt Patrick Star, just different collections right here. So that is my Mac drawer. Okay, here's my Too Faced drawer. And I feel like out of all my drawers, this one's like the prettiest because it's so colorful. I'm trying to think of what to start with. Pull back just a little bit. So in the front here, I have like their bigger eyeshadow palettes. I have their little, I think it's like the Clover highlight. I have their glitter palette. And then I have like the staples, like the Sweet Peach is right here. We have the Clover palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon, the Too Faced Semi-Sweet, and then the Chocolate. And you know what? There's another one that I'm missing. Hmm. I feel like there's another one. Let me know down below if you know which one I'm missing because I can't think of the name. But I think I have it somewhere in my collection. These over here are like one of my favorite items that Too Faced makes. They're like the double-sided blushes and they have like blush and highlights in them so this one is the berries and bubbly and you just kind of open it from the side really pretty this one's another one as you can see the packaging is just super duper cute oh and honestly the product's amazing too and then over to the right we have the love flush palette which came out a couple years ago and it just has like all of the blush shades and it has it in cute little hearts so I love this again I think it was a holiday collection and then toward the back I have the longer palettes so we have like the sparkling pineapple the razzle dazzle and this is their newest like highlight palette it's called the it's literally called like the highlight palette and then we have the natural eyes collection we have the sugar peach white peach just peach <laughs> the natural and then the cocoa contour palette right here and i love the packaging on these too because they're just kind of like plasticky they just feel good and then in the middle we have these just individual like peach creams right here oh i feel like that one's like coming out they're just like highlighters and cream products and then these oh my gosh i live for these these are their twinkle highlighters they're so pretty sorry i have book bites on my hands but they're so pretty to just do on the eyes and they're so reflective i literally have so many different shades of them because i am obsessed and then we have just the polite lips collection this was a collab they did with i don't remember who the collab was with then in the back we have like the do you face powder we have just like a few random things this is a i think bronzer we have a highlight, the new pineapple glow toward the back. And at the very, very back, we just have some more like random things like the I Want Candy Too Faced collection, which I really did like. And then the Pretty Mess. And then there's another one from a holiday collection. So again, that is my Too Faced drawer. Okay, this is probably my favorite drawer too. That one and the Too Faced one. I just think they're so pretty. So again these are literally like this little container let me push it back right here is a boxy charm box so i just kind of cut the top off and left them there over to the right here we have just like bigger palettes we have the nars orgasm palette which is a cream palette that came out this year we have ooh, i love this one um this is just like a bronze highlight with some really pretty eyeshadows we have just a bunch of different bigger palettes this one's another favorite 
of mine that has blushes and highlights in it. And then toward the very back, we have some older ones, like the Stephen Klein palette. I remember buying this for holiday one year, and I was just so excited to own more NARS blushes. So yeah, those are just like the bigger, wider palettes that NARS makes. And then over here to the left, we have this one that was holiday this past year. It's another one with just like blushes and highlights. And then we have just random palettes that they've made throughout the years holiday collection ones or like this one that came out recently is just like a Nordstrom exclusive and then the very front we have one of the highlight palettes again I love these some of these I've actually purchased some of them I've gotten in PR but I've always loved NARS and then in the middle here we just have a radiance booster like glow and then just two like random NARS lipsticks and then we have oh I just love how pretty this looks we have like a bunch of their lip glosses they're like shimmer lip glosses and then these are just the like stick lip crayons and then the very very back we have let me see if i can actually pull this out for you guys so you can see see again just random boxes is what i have but this is just like individual nars eyeshadows these are like the four pan palettes that they recently came out with and then this right here is just a nars orgasm blush so i just have those tucked away in the back so again, that is my NARS drawer. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Okay, here we have my Natasha Denona drawer. Oh, my love for Natasha Denona is so strong. <laughs> and in the back here, we just have like her bigger palettes. I actually bought four of these whenever I first became obsessed with Natasha Denona. I bought two for me, two for my kit. And then over here to the side, we just have different like glow powders from her. She does have, again, some really pretty highlights. We have some of her blush palettes, like the two pan palettes in the back. We have lipsticks. And then over here, we have just some random eyeliners and individual eyeshadows. Let me see if I can show y'all what they look like. Here's what her individual eyeshadows look like. I've actually had some of these because I didn't want to run out of them in my kit. And then we have two of her newer palettes, which is the Tan and Balloon palette. Really pretty. We have some of her concealers down here on the bottom. And then right here we have her individual palettes. This palette, you guys, I actually got from a Beautylish Lucky Bag back, I don't know, it was a couple years ago. And I literally was screaming when I opened it because I was so excited. This palette, like, holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> Then we have some of her individual palettes that she's came out with throughout the years. And then we even have some mini palettes. And you guys know I'm doing a declutter here soon. I cannot part with any Natasha Denona stuff. Like, my favorites. And then right here we have the Chroma Crystals, which are these, like, really pretty top coats that she's came out with. Let's see if I can show y'all what they look like. They're just super super pretty and reflective so i have a bunch of different shades in these and i'm glad that i actually have them all in one place now toward the front here we have a bunch of her different palettes i'm gonna go through these because you guys know natasha makes some of my favorite eyeshadows so this is like the sunrise palette really really pretty shades this palette actually is at a lower price point than most of her palettes so definitely check it out we have the safari palette which again, really pretty shade. This is actually an all matte palette from Natasha. We have the Tropic palette, which just has some like really fun, like tropical summertime shades. The Lila palette, which has all kinds of purples. We have the Sunset palette. I think this is probably one of my favorites as well. Just really pretty tones in this palette. And then lastly, we have the Gold palette for her eyeshadows. So this is the Biba palette. This is a neutral palette that she came out with. It has some shimmers in it too. And then we have the diamond and blush palettes. So this palette specifically is probably like one of my favorite face palettes. The colors are just so pretty as you can see. And they have two different ones. And then we have the sculpt and glow palette. And then at the very back we have the star palette. So again, Natasha and Anna, her eyeshadows, <laughs> they're just like my favorite. And this is one of my favorite drawers and I love how organized everything is. Okay, so this is my Huda Beauty drawer, part one. I think this looks really pretty, just saying. Okay, so we have the neon palettes right here. Oh my gosh, I've been so freaking obsessed with these lately. They're so pretty and bright 
just really fun glittery so we have the three different neons and then we have the obsessions collection so we have like topaz amethyst ruby emerald sapphire and they're all color coded to the colors that they're going to be inside so this is the sapphire then we have the emerald which is a really pretty green we have the ruby obsessions and then we have the topaz obsessions and then we have the amethyst so really beautiful colors and i keep those right in the front in the middle we have the matte and metal shadows um, so one side is just like a matte cream that you can uh, put on your eyes and then the other side is actually what made me fall in love with glitters they're just so pretty and sparkly and i love them I literally have used every single shade that they've sent me. These actually are new palettes. I'm going to save these again for giveaways, but these are more Obsessions palettes that they came out with. This one's like really pretty electric colors. Then they have like a more warm brown Obsession palette. You guys get the drift. They're kind of color coded. And then we have her highlight palette. So like this is the Golden Sands edition, which to me is more for like medium skin tones. And these are actually some powder and uh as you can see they're really really pretty and then they have some cream in them too yeah so we have the bronze sands the gold sands pink winter and then over here we have like an eyelash back here we have the new contour creams which i actually do need to use these in a video now that i'm like getting this collection thing taken care of for you guys so i can get back on to filming normal content they're just like cream bronzers which look really pretty we have all of her palettes uh probably my favorite is the nude one so we have the desert dust palette right here we have the very first Rose Edition palette, which oh, you guys know that I loved this so much. And then my favorite, again, is probably like the nude one. It's just got such pretty colors in it. And then there's like another gold palette back there and another Desert Dust. I have some more overflow of the matte metals. And then at the very, very back, hopefully y'all can see, but I have her new Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. I have two of her primers. So we have the Complexion Perfection and then the Matte Perfection. Lots of her setting powders, which I go through so much. And then some of her liquid lipsticks that are still in the boxes. And then lots of lashes in the very, very back. I have purchased so many of her lashes because I used to like only wear hers. And so that is the first Huda Beauty drawer. And then here's the second Huda Beauty drawer. Like look how pretty these look side by side. They're just so beautiful. So right here we have again some more lashes. Okay, so we have the Noel lashes, the Scarlet lashes. These were like the ones that I was wearing all the time before I started getting lash extensions. The Lena's. And then we have the gazelle these are actually kinder scott boxes that i took the top off of i really wish i would have kept every single box that i had when i ordered jewelry from her because they're perfect these have a bunch of different concealers and i am going to get rid of the dark ones because i've never used them but the light ones i will mix up and like kind of interchange them out to make concealer shades and also i use them as a base for my eyeshadow so i know i'll get plenty of use of these and then we have all of her like matte lipsticks. They're so pretty. This one right here, I just love first off the packaging. This one is called Spring Break. And they're super duper matte, but comfortable. Look how pretty that is. And I just keep them again in this like little Kinder Scott box. We have some of the Demi Matte and Liquid Matte lipsticks. I have most of all of them in my purses because these are the lipsticks that I use the very most. The Demi Mattes are my favorite. They're super comfortable and creamy. Then we have the Blur and Glow Body Brush along with the Glow Glitters. These are really, really pretty. I actually wore one to a concert a couple weeks ago. They're super liquidy, but they just make your skin look just super glowy, as you can see. Can't believe I just did that look at my hands. And then right here we have two different foundations that I picked up. And then in the back, they actually have sent some of the products in these really cute Huda Beauty bags. So I use these for like traveling and stuff. Um, I have three different ones that they've sent things in. And I love them. So 
Thank you, Huda. <laughs> And yeah, those are my Huda Beauty drawers. Okay, now we're gonna go through my lipstick drawers, which consist of these two, these two, and then these two. <laughs> so just to kind of like show y'all what we're gonna be working with here, we have normal lipsticks, normal lipsticks with lip liquid lipsticks, and then these are drugstore. So here at the very top in the front, we have my Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I actually got a vault last year or the year before for Christmas that I purchased through Sephora. And it had like uh, like 12 or 13 different lipsticks in them. I just think the Marc Jacobs formula is so creamy, so comfortable. And so I have those right here at the front. I also love, love, love NARS lipsticks as well as YSL. So let's see here. Anna. Oh my gosh. Anna used to be my jam. It's just like a really pretty neutral shade. Oh, and this one is called Angela. Oh my gosh, I used to rock this all the time. It's just like a really pretty, like hot pink purple shade. So yeah, we have NARS here. Then we have some YSL lipsticks, which are the gold ones right here. We have some Tarte, some Lancome, L'Oreal. We got some Charlotte Tilbury back here. And then as you go toward the back, we have some like MAC lipsticks, Lil Rack. We have a bunch and bunch and bunch of MAC lipsticks. So again, this is like my normal lipstick drawer. And then as you come over here, the very front we have Smashbox liquid lipsticks. They're really pretty. This one's called Psychic Medium. It's like a really pretty like dark brown shade. <laughs> They're very comfortable. They're the always on lipsticks. So those are these in the front. I actually did a video where they sent me a ton of them and I did like a big swatch video of them. These rows right here are all of my Jouer lipsticks. Um, Jouer has a very comfortable formula as well. Just really pretty. This one's the shade Madison. I about can't see because all the lights in here. So we have Jouer lipsticks, Smashbox lipsticks. In the back here we have some of the Pixie by Petra liquid lipsticks. Then we have some random like Urban Decay ones. And then toward the very back, we have all of my Flower Beauty lipsticks. I actually did a collaboration with them like a year or two ago and I did a big lip swatch video. So that is that drawer. And then we have like a random lipstick assortment from drugstore brands. So in the very front, we have the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks. We have the Infallible lipsticks from L'Oreal. Then we have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And then I just have this little container back here that contains a bunch of the color adult lipsticks. And then in the very, very back, we just have some drugstore foundations. So all the drawers that y'all saw so far are pretty organized. I saved these middle ones kind of for last. But this one right here, this is my <laughs> liquid lipstick drawer that is not so organized. So right here on the side, we have just some of like my favorite melted latex lipsticks from Too Faced. These are actually kind of sticky, but... They're really pretty on, as you can see. So I have those kind of all grouped together. Then we have some of the like melted matte, but all of these basically are liquid lipsticks. We have Ofra, Kat Von D, um, Kylie Cosmetics, Too Faced, Galactic. Uh, actually, we have some drugstore brands in the back there. Dose of colors. It's basically just like a sea of liquid lipsticks. So my plan is to also get this pretty dang organized because right now it's it's a lot. Ofra, Stila. I love the Stila ones too. That purple color is really, really pretty as well. But yeah, this is just like a bunch and bunch and bunch of liquid lipsticks. Okay, very next drawer we have is lip glosses. And a lot of these, as you can tell, most of them are nudes because if we have like any super duper crazy shades that I don't think I'll use, I'll actually not swatch them or anything and normally give them away to you guys. So in the front here, we have a bunch of the like little pure cosmetics lip glosses. I think I got these from like Octoly one time. Then we have in the front front, these are some like flower beauty, like glittery, lip glosses. Then we just have a bunch of other brands like Neutrogena, we have Too Faced, MAC Cosmetics, we have some like Lottie London and ColourPop. So a bunch of different lip glosses. We have some like minis from different holiday collections like this one is from Marc Jacobs. 
and we have some from Laritzi Anastasia. Anastasia actually used to be like one of my favorite lip gloss brands. But yeah, lots of different lip glosses in this drawer. Okay, very next drawer is just a normal lipsticks. Again, these definitely need to be organized. We have some of my favorite Tarte lipsticks. The Rainforest of the Sea collection. Let's see what shade this is. This is Siesta. Really pretty. This formula is just, oh, it's so comfortable on the lips. And then we have some stuff, like, I'm going to go through this, and if I have things that are, like, in packages, like the natural nudes from Too Faced, I'm going to be going through and making sure to, like, put stuff for you guys for giveaways. In the front here, we have these little, they're almost like a lip pot, so it's like a comfortable, like, lip conditioner. And then we have a really pretty picture of snow right here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where this came from, but it's definitely my lipstick drawer. Um, we have some... Milk Makeup Lipsticks, YSL, and just, again, a bunch of different brands. We have a Lip Therapy from First Aid Beauty. And that, you guys, is going to be it for this set of white drawers. And now we're going to move to the top. I know this video is going to be super long because we've been filming for a while, so I'll probably be doing a part two. Okay, so as you can see, I do have, like, scratches and stuff on these drawers, so I do want to kind of make these my giveaway drawers. These clear containers are from the container store. So this is my last drawer. Lots of lashes all the way back. So we have some of the flutter lashes here in the front. Some bold face underneath there. We have lots and lots of House of Lashes lashes. We have just Ardell lashes, Vegas Nay lashes, some MAC, and there's, as you can see, double stacks. So, <laughs> you know, some on the top and lots on the bottom as well. And then, whew, toward the very back, we have like some Kiss lashes, Lena lashes, random elf lashes. And yeah, they're kind of just piled high. Piled too high, I can't even get them back in. <laughs> okay, so this is one of my palette drawers. You guys will be seeing more of these in the part two. Up front, I actually have some older Anastasia palette. So this is the Tamana palette, I think is how you say it. This is like one of the first palettes I got from her. Then we have the like Master Mario palette. We have the Artist palette from Anastasia. I'm actually not on the PR for Anastasia, so I've bought all these palettes myself. I used to literally buy one every time they launched. And then we have the... Norvina palette, the Modern Renaissance, which is like one of my favorites, and then we have the whew, the Soft Glam palette. This one's a really good one too, with lots of like neutral tones. And then we have other random palettes. So like right here, we have Tarte palettes. We have some holiday palettes from Kylie Cosmetics. Some Makeup Geek palettes, the Manny palette, I think is what they are. Oh my gosh! Yes. No wait. Hold on. In the nude, I've been looking for this. This was one of my favorite palettes too. I love this. I'm so glad that I just found it. Don't put it back in the drawer. I will. I will get it later. <laughs> and then toward the back, we just have stacks of stacks. We have Lime Crime, Pure, Sigma, More Pure, um, Ciate London. We have the Sip and Pretty palette by Kylie Cosmetics, Persona Cosmetics, Bobby Brown. I actually need to sell this. This dang palette was like $200 or something and it's Bobbi Brown and I've barely used it so look out for that in the declutter series coming soon. <laughs> and then toward the back we just have like some Zueva random motives palettes, Ciate palettes, and I think there's like a Tarte palette back there and Fiona Styles. So lots of different palettes. Lots of different palettes. I'm excited to do my palette declutter because I'm probably looking at like over, I would say maybe 200 palettes I'm going to be going through. Then over here is back on with the brand. Um, I kind of had to randomly put this over here because I don't have any more room. This is my Urban Decay section. So we have all of like the Naked palettes, the Naked Cherry, the Naked Reloaded, Naked Heat, Naked, I think Smoky, the original Naked, Naked 2, Naked 3, and then, ooh, the On the Run palette. I love this one. I think it's so pretty, and it's so great to take when you travel. Then over here to the right, we have the On The Run, like, mini-series, I think is what they call it. Um, you just have, like, a couple different 
um, palettes and they're all like different colors and themed. Then we have a little mini Naked Heat over here, okay? And then we have a little, I think highlighting palette, yeah, from the Kristen Leanne collection. Then we have two bronzers here. I love the bronzers from this collection. And then in the back, we just have some like random limited edition collections. This is the Beach collection from last year, which was really pretty. We have another Kristen Leanne palette, which was like a neutral eyeshadow palette. And then in the back, we have the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette right here with some blushes and bronzers. And then we have a holiday collection palette. So that is my Urban Decay drawer right there. Then moving up, now it's going to get a little unorganized. So this is my high-end drawer, one of them anyway. So in the very front, we have these two Dior palettes. We have a contour palette and a highlight palette. Then moving on to the back, we have like hourglass, lots of Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks. We have a Marc Jacobs. This was an eyeshadow palette from one of the holiday collections. Oh my gosh, it was literally so good. You can see how beautiful I look today. Then we have some of the Marc Jacob. I can't remember what these are called. They're called cover sticks, so they're like a cream stick. And then in the back, we just have more Marc Jacobs palettes, more Vizzy Art. We have the palettes with like all the little eyeshadows in them. And then we have a Christian Louboutin lip gloss. So this is like my high-end section. Hourglass, Marc Jacobs. Vaz Art, Busy Art, <laughs> Bobby Brown, and then some Guerlain in there as well. And then we have the Kevin Aquan drawer. Oh my gosh, you guys, these right here, hopefully they still make them. This is called Poppy Topaz. It's like a liquid lipstick, but with like glitter in it. Oh my gosh, it's a lip topper and it's so pretty. You probably can even see how pretty it is in this video, but it is gorgeous. We have some of their little like blush palettes. It's an ombre blush which is so pretty. I love these. And then toward the back, we just have like some random little palettes by them, like the highlight palettes that they have. These all kind of stick together. We have a contour palette that they have. So just lots of Kevin Aquan. And then in the very back, we have their ombre highlights. This drawer is kind of all over the place. We have some random stuff. We have like a Buxom Boy Babe lip glosses here. We have some more of those and then some Buxom lipsticks at the bottom. We have two random Pixie Glow palettes. These actually remind me of the Kevin Aquan palettes, honestly. And then we have like a random Charlotte Tilbury palette that I need to use that I bought at the Sephora sale. And then in the very back, we have some Too Faced concealers and the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Syrup. Over here, we have all things brows. So, <laughs> this drawer I need to go through and get all of my colors out and then donate the rest or give them away. But we have like Urban Decay brow pencil, MAC brow pencils, um, lots more MAC brow pencils, lots of benefit, just different brow things that I've kind of collected whoop, over the past year or so. And then here we have liners, mascaras. So these are clay pots by Tarte, which are really pretty. They're just different colors and I still have them in their packaging. We have some MAC Painterly paint pots kind of lined up, a random pomade by Anastasia. And then back here we have just like one or two mascaras and then lots of eyeliners right there. All right, this right here is another high, high end drawer. We have lots of Charlotte Tilbury. This is like jam packed full, so I'm not gonna pull everything out, but we have like a really pretty, I'll just open that with my teeth, really pretty palette from Holiday last year. We have a, I can't get any of this open. This is like a highlight palette. We have, oh my gosh, I remember this. This came out a couple years ago. It was like an all in one face palette where it had like cheeks. I feel like it's overexposed. Move it over here. Yeah, had like cheeks, highlights, stuff like that. We have some, lots of Tom Ford. I have some Tom Ford palettes I'm actually going to be selling that I've never really used. Some By Terry stuff. Lots of By Terry palettes too. So these down here, oh, I collected these. They were like my favorite. The By Terry Sun Design palette. I think I have four different ones or versions. Oh, they're just so pretty. I mean, literally, it's not even doing justice to the color of these because they're gorgeous. Moving on, these last two drawers. We have the Urban Decay High Fire High Shine Glosses, I think is what they're called. And then this is kind of a random drawer. I have this big thing of Urban Decay eyeliners right here. 
we have an Urban Decay setting spray that has Danielle on it, which I thought was cute. Another Urban Decay Cherry setting spray. We have one of the Glow Me lights that you can like put on your phone to light it up. And in the back we have just some random MAC lip colors. And in the very last drawer, I literally have these just for display so it looks pretty. But we have those in the front and then the very last drawer here we just have like tons of different like eyeliners. Like this is the Urban Decay like glitter liner. You can basically do like glitter eyeliner with. We have the Stila eye paints which are really pretty. Um, that you can like put on your eyes and stuff. So these are all kind of like eye toppers. And yeah, you guys, so that is going to be my makeup collection part one. Stay tuned for part two and lots of giveaways.